in this lesson i will discuss case statement case statement checks if the given expression matches the other expression in the list and when you find case statement in your logic design in or in any digital design it simply infers a multiplexer means your synthesis tool while synthesizing that piece of code which includes a case statement it converts that piece of code into a multiplexer so case statement is a multiplexer type logic but see what we learned in my previous lesson that if else also infers a multiplexer then case statement is also infers a multiplexer then already if else is there then why to use case statement okay why we go for case statement for example you have 20 if else conditions then writing 20 if else condition is a bit lengthy and it is not a suitable choice right so what happens uh, in that scenario we go, we go for case statement see if many conditions are there in if else it may not be a suitable choice so we use case statement okay i will give an example then you will get to know it in details and what is the syntax case then parenthesis then the expression or you can say something okay expression then value then if this something what is what what is written inside this parenthesis equal equal to this value means when something this one equal to equal to value then if this two matches then do something whatever is written the statement that is written inside inside this case block is evaluated then another other value if this something what is there inside this parenthesis matches if something equal to equal to other value this value then do something means some statement is executed then default if not even a single single expression matches with this something then default it considers a default one so do something when something is none of the above okay then and case i will give you example real example okay if no cases match default statement is executed but default is optional okay means if you have included default statement in your case while you are writing this case statement it is okay and if you do not include then also it's okay it is not mandatory it is just optional one okay so if no default statement mentioned and no cases matches then execution will exit the case block without doing anything means if there is no matches and there is no default also then simply it will exit from that case block okay so here is one example always at the always at the rate then parenthesis star begin this star means do you remember this star means if there is any changes in the sensitivity list okay any number of signal can can be inside this uh, parenthesis and all these are called a uh, sensitivity list so star star means whatever is there inside whatever we, you have considered you, uh, for your input if there is any changes in that input then the the statements means always is activated and this always this always block is evaluated so this case statement already i said that the case state this case it infers a multiplexer and with constant assignment as there is no clock no register okay see here when i write always at the red star so this is you have to remember that and if uh, you have included a star means there is no clock edge you are not considering any clock edge or any reset so it is a purely combinational circuit okay and it is a multiplexer and it is a pure combinational circuit that you have to remember because here we have not included any clock or any register so it is a pure combinational circuit okay so always at the red star begin so if there is any changes uh in the sensitivity list then the case statement is evaluated then case select then it matches the expression and once the expression matches then the respective statement is evaluated then end case then end
ऑलवेज एट द रेट पॉसेज ऑफ क्लॉक बिगिन केस सिलेक्ट देन सिलेक्ट वन देन सिलेक्ट टू देन एंड केस एंड सी हियर देर इज ए पॉजिटिव एज ऑफ क्लॉक सो इट इज ए सिक्वेंसियल लॉजिक राइट बिकॉज दिस क्लॉक इन्फॉर्स ए सिक्वेंसियल लॉजिक सो इट इन इट इन्फॉर्स ए फ्लिप लॉफ ओके इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी क्लॉक सो इट इज ए प्योर कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट here we have clock so it enforce a flip flop then case statement and what is the case see this one is this one is flop flip flop okay this is sequential logic then case select this is a multiplexer this is a mux okay so if you have written the whole code then how it is inferred okay then it is converted into this one the hardware inferred by a case statement would be triggered on rising edge of clock so every rising edge of clock on every rising edge of clock this out this one this output the output of multiplexer will be assigned to this output 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 of flip flop okay so this is a combinational logic here the combinational logic output latched on to one or more flip flop at rising edge of clock okay so when there is a positive edge of clock comes then this one is triggered this mocks this combinational part is triggered okay this is this is the logic this for this logic this is the hardware okay so positive edge of clock this is a flip flop so when positive edge of clock comes then this output the output of mocks is propagated to the output of flip flop okay this will so this is a combinational logic this uh, this logic is latched on to this flip flop okay so what is uh, what is the difference or what is the similarity between this if case if else and case statement performance wise there is no difference they are equally efficient okay case is useful when output depends on large number of conditions okay means for example if a 100 number of conditions then you just don't see it and write 100 if and else okay your code doesn't look good so what in that in that scenario in that case what we do we better prepare case statement it will be easy to write case statement than if else if we have number of many number of conditions okay but if you have very small number small number of conditions small number of small number of condition for example 2 3 4 5 then you can go with if else nested if else okay and both in force both if you write if else or if you if you have included case statement in your logic design then both in force multiplexer in digital logic so when your synth when your synthesizer when your synthesis tool synthesize your code which includes if else and case statement then it simply in force a multiplexer this is one example okay already i have given this example in my previous lesson this if else so this part is this part is if a equal to 1 so if a equal to 1 if a equal to 1 then y equal to x1 so this is 1 so y equal to x1 else else b else b means here b equal to 1 and a equal to 0 because this is else this is else means now a equal to not 1 so a equal to 0 a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 a equal to 0 means this one so this output will be propagated to this this y okay and b equal to 1 means this one this is b equal to 1 okay so now x2 equal to sorry y equal to x2 so now y equal to x2 okay else if else if c else if c means now c equal to 1 and b equal to 0 and a is also equal to 0 C equal to one means this one. C equal to one x three. Then B equal to zero means this one, and A equal to zero means this one. So it, this is this is like this. Okay, this one will be. So now y equal to x three. So now you will get y equal to x three. Else y equal to x four. Else means here C equal to zero, and B equal to zero. And c equal to zero. Okay, c equal to zero means this part. Then b equal to zero, and c equal to zero. So this is how this if else is. But if you if you have written the same state all the this this condition, okay, with k statement, then k statement the k statement also enforce 
मल्टीप्लेक्सर बट वॉट इट विल डू द सी फॉर ई फेल दिस इज द हार्डवेयर दिस इज द रेस्पेक्टिव हार्डवेयर फॉर दिस ई फेल स्टेटमेंट्स एंड फॉर दिस ई फेल्स इफ यू हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड दिस लॉजिक विथ के स्टेटमेंट दैन दिस इज द हार्डवेयर दिस इज द हार्डवेयर ओके सो इट इज ए फोर इज टू वन फोर इज टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर दिस इज अ केस एक्सप्रेशन दिस इज अ केस एक्सप्रेशन मीन्स ए बी सी केस एक्सप्रेशन एंड दीज आर द इनपुट्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एंड एक्स फोर ओके सो दिस इज द हार्ड दिस इज द हार्डवेयर फॉर दिस वन फॉर इफ यू इफ यू आर गोइंग विथ के स्टेटमेंट एंड दिस इज फॉर ई फेल स्टेटमेंट दिस इज द हार्डवेयर ओके देन दिस इज वन मॉक्स फोर इज टू वन एंड दिस इज बिहेवियर बिहेवियरल एंड आई हैव यूज के स्टेटमेंट सो एस जीरो एंड एस वन इफ जीरो जीरो देन इट इज इफ दिस जीरो जीरो मैचेस फॉर जीरो जीरो इफ जीरो जीरो मैचेस देन आउट इक्वल टू आई आई जीरो इफ एस जीरो एंड एस वन इक्वल टू जीरो वन देन आउट इक्वल टू आई वन इफ एस जीरो एंड एस वन इक्वल टू वन जीरो देन आउट इक्वल टू आई टू इफ एस जीरो एंड एस वन इक्वल टू वन वन देन आउट इक्वल टू आई थ्री ओके इट इम्फर्स अ कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सी देर इज नो क्लॉक एयर ओके सो इट इज सिंपली इट इज इट इज इट इज अ रियल कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक ओके बिकॉज देर इज नो क्लॉक और देर इज नो रिसेट सिग्नल ओनली वी हैव फोर इनपुट एंड वन सिलेक्ट लाइन ओके टू बिट टू बिट दिस इज द सिलेक्ट लाइन इज टू बिट ओके सो हाउ दिस दिस लॉजिक इज इनफर्ड बाई योर सिंथेसिस टूल और बाई योर सिमुलेटर दिस वन दिस इज द हार्डवेयर फॉर दिस वन ओके सो दिस इज अ फोर इज टू वन मॉक्स बिकॉज एवरी के स्टेटमेंट इनफॉर्स दिस एज ए मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग If you like the content then you can press the like button and subscribe this channel and thank you so much